In this step, we're going to set up the global design elements for our project. These globals will define the foundation of our typography, colors, and spacing, and make it easier to keep everything consistent as we design our website. On my screen, you can see an H1, H2, and H3 title. Right now, these are using the default font type, size, weight, and color. Let's start by creating global variables for these headings. Open the Variable Manager panel and click on Numbers. Then click on Add a Global Number. In the Name field, type H1. For the unit, I'll choose Clamp. Clamp allows us to create responsive font sizes with three values. For H1, I'll use 44 pixels as the minimum, 5VW for the flexible value, and 60 pixels for the maximum. This means the H1 will never shrink below 44 pixels, never grow beyond 60, and will scale fluidly with the viewport in between. For H2, I'll also use clamp. The values are 32 pixels, 4VW, and 46 pixels. For H3, I'll keep it simple and set it to 24 pixels with PX as the unit. And for body text, I'll set a global value of 14 pixels. Next, let's set up our colors. For the primary color, I'll use the hex code 07E4AF. For headings, I'll set it to pure black. For the body text, I'll use a dark gray, 4C, 4C, 4C. And I'll also create a new global color for the button hover state using 09C598. Now let's move on to fonts. Under Fonts in the Variable Manager, I'll choose Enter for our headings, while leaving the body set to the default Open Sans, then I'll click Save Variables. With our variables in place, we can adjust some presets so our modules use these globals by default. I'll demonstrate this with the text module and a few row settings. If your page is empty, add a section, then a row, and place a text module inside. Select the text module and open the Select a Preset menu. We won't create a new preset, instead we'll edit the default. Hover over text default preset, click the wheel and the settings panel will switch to a black background. That means we're editing the preset. In the design tab under text for the body text size, click on the variable manager and select body text. Then move to the heading text tab. For H1, under font family, Click the Variable Manager and select Headings. Set the font weight to bold. For text size, select the global H1 variable. Finally, set the line height to 1.1. Repeat the same process for H2 and H3, using their corresponding globals with font weight bold and line height set to 1.1. Save the preset, and now every text module you add will follow these defaults automatically. Next, let's adjust the default row preset. Select a row, open Select a Preset, and click the wheel to edit the default row. Switch to the Design tab, then to Sizing. Set width to 95% instead of 80, giving more breathing room on smaller screens. Then set max width to 1,280 pixels, so our rows span a bit wider across desktop screens. Save the preset. To recap, we've created global variables for typography, colors, and fonts. We've applied those globals to the text module defaults and adjusted the row width for better responsiveness. These changes mean every time we add a text module or row, the styling is already consistent. The last step is to add extra responsive breakpoints. 
In the top bar, open the site-wide responsive breakpoint panel. Enable widescreen and set it to 1350 pixels. Then enable ultra-wide and set it to 1650 pixels. This gives us extra control for larger screens, so our site stays well balanced across all devices. That completes our global design setup. With these foundations in place, we're ready to start building out the rest of the website.